Oh, oh, you're in. Early. Good start. Like yeah, man. I'm gonna come this way with the lights are better. Running really fast out that way. Well, first bait in the water has been absolutely smoked by something. This is doing weird things, man. It's doing weird things. Why is it under the boat? Now. Oh, what's it doing? What have I hooked there? So my first whiting bait of the morning. It's going to make oh, an ass of itself. That ain't a snapper, man. I don't think so, but... It's doing weird, weird things. <laughs> wow. Straight into it, eh? Is your rod in the way? You no, right? I'm right for now. Until he loops back Is around again. Surface, he was like almost like the boat before. Before it ran. Is it a big snoop? It's got it's a sandboat. Is it a shark? Shark with chips. Shark on the first car. Don't let him. Yeah, go. If I can get my rig back, that'd be great. Sharky boy on. Jesus. Woo. <laughs> Shark on. Well, first bait of the morning. Not Mr. The, Sharky boy. Not the snapper I was asked. Yeah, hopefully he's remember. not going to come back and eat the rest of our baits as well. He's going back. I don't want him, but. Nah. One way to start the morning. Thrashy boy. That's getting some hits now. Come on, let's go. Let's go. See if I can hook the shark as well. I think I've got the bottom, is it? No, fish on. I think. Yes, yeah, there's, there's a fish. Do you want me to get your plastic out of the way? Um, Nah, for now that's okay at, at the moment. Boy on, is it? Yeah, I don't know. It's not running like a snapper, is it? The big dirty mullet fillet on the bottom there. It's just been sitting there. Oh, good morning, by the way. I'm out with Jack this morning. We've come out early, probably come out a little bit too early. We've been sitting out here in the dark for the last half an hour waiting for the sun to sort of come up. And now it's started to get that first light. We're starting to get some hits. Oh, got it's got some here. weight, yeah. It's definitely got a bit of weight to it. Let's see what we got here. I had a, it's like basically like a cube of mullet. Oh, I just saw some colour. Oh, he just got angry. It was sort of like a cutlet of mullet I had on there. I've got a single owner SSW circle on here. Just sort of pinned through the edge of the cube. I was just about to bring this in because we've been seeing... Oh, he doesn't want to come off the bottom. There was a heap of squid swimming around in the lights down here and we were looking at the squid and I've actually got a squid here I caught the other day. It's a fresh local squid and I was just about to bring my mullet in and stick the squid out when this got hurt. What is this? I see colour and then she just goes, see ya. I feel like it might be a jewfish, eh? Because it's not doing snapper things really, is it? Here it comes. There's a big jewy. Yeah, it's a decent jew, I think. Oh, you got a net there, bro? You want some net? Oh, my lord. Oh. Oh, what a start! To a thing. <laughs> what a start! <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that'll do. You're on. That's my start. Yeah, sure. He's good, man. Yeah, he's a nice fish. He is a mullet slab, eh? Yeah, the mullet slab got it done. Look at that. There's that owner. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, that was only just in there. The owner SSW, only just in his lip there. I'll take it. Startskis. Scotty's on the board. Far out. Well, there you go. How's that for the first fish of the morning? Beautiful West Australian Jewfish. Here's a good couple of feeds for me and my family. No worries at all. Um, I'm happy with that. That's beautiful. That's all right, I'm going to put this guy out of his misery, get him on ice, and I'll get fishing again and see what else we can come up with. <laughs> happy days, I say. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, it's time to deploy the squid bait. Oh, the dirty mullet got it done. Yeah, how's it? You were just giving up on it. You were saying, I don't know why I'm saying now I'm over it. And then, bang. Well, there you go. I got the head off the squid here. That's my next bait out. The dirty squid head. I'm really surprised. I was just, I'd really given up on the mullet. It's been out there for half an hour and just nothing. And I was just about to give up on the mullet and stick the squid on. And then kaboom. Kaboomsies. Stick with it. Believe in yourself. You just got to pitch it the knife. Back in the oh, where it should be. Can I you hold on? <laughs> now the sun's coming up a bit, you can see where we're anchored here. Um, I don't know if you can see that breaking just over there. There's a bit of a reef, sort of an offshore reef. Oh, it's breaking full on now. We're just sort of sitting behind the breaking reef. That's obviously dry reef there, and we're in 14 meters here, 14.6 meters here just sitting behind the reef. It was a bit of a sketchy run through the channel this morning because it's breaking. I don't know if you can see it. There's a line of breakers all the way along here. It was a bit of a sketchy run through the channel in the dark, but we got it done. So it's gone absolutely dead where we were fishing there. We've been barreling up for the last, probably for an hour and hour and after that Jew fish, literally nothing, not even nibbles, just been dead. So. We're going to move and we're going to try fishing the bottom for a bit. We're going to drift around a little bit, um, see if we can't get jack of fish before we head in. So we're not moving far, literally. I'll show you. That's the spot where we were fishing before. All we're going to do is move over to this edge here and fish along this edge. Um, that's it, simple as that. But this time we're going to be drifting instead of anchoring up. We're just going to drift around a bit and see Still got those big fillets of mullet and I've got some squid there so we'll just do a bit of a couple of drifts and see if we can't get jack something. We're staying inshore as you can see we're only about a mile and a half out. We just like the inshore thing. I think it, I just like the challenge of catching inshore. Eh? I think it's a lot a lot more challenging. Yeah for sure. And as dynamic stuff happens in here like there's waves breaking out there you can flip your boat over. <laughs> All sorts of excitement. I reckon let's just drift here eh? Yeah. Yeah. 15 meters. Hopefully I can get to the bottom. I've got a 90 gram 90 gram snap bait here. Should be able to get to the bottom with it. Not get to the bottom, hold the bottom is the problem I guess. See which way the wind blows us. Things went absolutely dead where we were fishing before. We just, after that dew fish, we just got nothing for about an hour. So we've banged out. When I say banged, we proper banged <laughs> out too, because Jesus, bloody spicy out here. We've banged out to 28 meters. And we're going to see if we can get jack of fish. I'm probably not even going to fish because I don't want to... Uh, there's a lot of bulch in groper and they just don't release and you hook them and they just... They're dead when you bring them up. I'm happy with that jew fish. That's all I need. So rather than catch a fish and kill it that I don't really need, I'm just not going to fish and we're just going to do a couple of drifts and see if we can get jack onto something. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be staying out here because it's pretty bloody spicy. Thankfully, this boat can handle a bit of a bit of rough and tumble. Um, yeah, probably just drop there, mate. Oh, there you, She's a spicy one. Tell me when to drop. Yeah, drop, man. We're pretty much on it. So I'm just going to stay on the wheel and just sort of 
try to keep Jack in the zone by using a bit of reverse to just hold us in the place. He's only got a 110, 110 gram. Probably should have gone a bit heavier, eh? Yeah, maybe. Well, so you should be able to get to the bottom. If I hold reverse, you should be able to get there. Pretty much right on your zone now. That wind is certainly a lot stronger out here. You got the bottom all right, yeah? Yeah, it's a lot more different, a lot more, um, it's got a bit of pepper to it out here. Yeah, this is just not fun out here, it's just rough. We're drifting it bloody three knots and really struggling to hold the bottom, so we're going to can this and start heading in a bit and see what else we can find. Um, fishing should be fun and this is just not fun, it's just hard work, so we're going to head back inshore and hopefully it's a little bit calmer in there and we can find something else. Came back inshore, it's a whole lot nicer in here than it was out there. She was pretty spicy out there. Just gonna have a drop here and just see what see what happens, see if we can get Jack to fish before we head in. Looks good. Yeah, the bottom looks all right here. Yeah? Oh, it just feels a whole lot nicer in here. Like, geez, that was bloody zinging out there. It sure wasn't pleasant. Uh, we're getting out of here. The wind is turned bloody terrible. We got beaten up out wide for a while. Everything just uh, everything just went quiet in shore where we were fishing. And then we went out wide, just basically got beaten up because the wind swung around. It's just got ugly now. So have a look. It's proper white capping from the southwest now. So I'm going to give Jack a big fillet off the side of my G fish. Um, we're happy. That's a that's a fee for both of our families. That's all that we really needed anyway. So. Any extra fish would have just been a bonus and I probably would have put it back if I got a bigger snapper or something anyway. So we're happy for the day. We're heading in and get on with the day. If you like the videos, stay tuned. Don't forget to check out Jack's channel, Rush Gang Fishing. I'll put a link down below and um, see everyone in the next episode.